If you've um, noticed on your Discovery 3 or 4, I presume it would be the same, that after you've washed the car or if there's been a heavy downpour, if you notice you've got water laying in your uh, rear parcel sheet, whatever you call that there, cover, um, what I've found is that um, in the top here, where you've got these looms coming down, you've got one each side of the tailgate top, there's a couple of rubber grommets, quite large, that are sealing this hull. Both of mine were out. So basically, when the water was hitting the roof, um, it was dripping straight through here, literally, because these grommets, I'll show you in a minute, uh, these grommets were not in place properly. And it was filling up, filling up this panel, which is the interior light enclosure that goes on the back there. Uh, so much water was getting in here, it was dripping through this interior light holder onto this shelf here. But on top of that, it was running into this area of this trim here. This was all soaking wet. Or if it was laying to the right, this side would be soaking wet. I thought it was to do with these seals here. Not seal, I re-sealed all these back on the car, hoping that that was gonna be the problem. Um, I'd read on the forums about the uh, aerial that's on the roof there or the actual rear brake light cluster leaking with water but uh, I'll climb up on the lower tailgate hopefully so I thought maybe this was leaking around here or the actual rear tailgate brake light that can be a problem but what I actually saw when I leant over if you can see them there you know they're quite large rubber grommets two of them and I suppose I've never taken them out they've either got knocked out um, at the car washes when he's wiped his hand around the inner tailgate there to dry it off or they've been off since I've had this car which is soon to be four years and I have been chasing a few water problems inside this car as you can see by my previous videos uh, you know front sunroof drains rear sunroof drains as well and I suppose it's possible that the water could have been gathering up in here and actually running along the headlining and down into the wiring channel on the near side there and filling that up. Um, who knows? But what I do know is, is that those grommets are quite large. You can see a bit of there if it focuses. They're quite large and they were not in the hole at all, both sides. So all the water has just been pouring in. And it was only the fact that, because I washed it the other day, myself, for a change, I happened to have come to the boot to put my gloves back in and I saw the pool of water in the middle there. And so quick investigation and that was what I found so even if you've not noticing water in your car it might be worth just checking them because I shall make sure now and every time virtually I come to the boot I shall make sure that they're seated properly so that that doesn't happen again so hopefully that'll help some people out if you've got a water ingress problem that you're chasing just thought I'd pass the information on. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'd just uh, like to say a quick hello to Holly. Um, one of my subscribers, you know who you are.
<laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you.